feel like you're rounding into that form? Uh, I think it's just that time of year where you know, guys got to prepare for postseason. And uh, in the postseason, you got to play a role and do your job and do what what your roles on this team, and that's for me, uh, bring the energy and the effort, and it's around that time, so that's why I'm doing that. Given some of the injuries that you've dealt with throughout mm -hmm. the course of this year, do you feel like you have your body in the shape that you want it to be going into the postseason? Yeah, my body's in great shape. It's up there with the best of them. You can ask Derek Mullen, our trainer, what the body fat looks like, so he could let you know. But yeah, my body and my armor is at its top shape right now. Obviously, it's frustrating having the two injuries uh, during the season. You know, I've never experienced that in my career, so it was definitely frustrating. But uh, it was a good learning tool, and I guess I had uh, I had to pay the basketball gods back my taxes. So, cause I got lucky the first uh, first six years. Did you really give up carbs? Yep, gave up carbs for. While well, I was hurt when I sprained my ankle, I don't really eat too many carbs even right now. You know, maybe maybe a cup of rice, if that. Don't need it. So. You said you made a joke about the same attack a little bit. You said that, you know you saw the pop in your your calves. Mm -hmm. You had other injuries you had to deal with this year. Mentally, what was that like? Over so everyone so used to seeing you in the lineup. Yeah, it was frustrating. It was frustrating just because. You know, I want to be out there with the guys every night and, and, and be that guy that guys can depend on. So um, it was a learning curve, and, it, you know, uh, it's just part of the game. You know, with the pop, it's just a freak accident. You know, it, you change directions, change ends so many times in a basketball game. Just that one time, freak accident like that, and then, uh, you know, stepping on Millsap's foot. It's another situation which just happens in a game. So, um, you know, I've been lucky, but uh, it was definitely frustrating. So I had to just, you know, get my mind right and get my body uh, prepare for this this run that we're trying to make. There's a, a faction of Cavs fans that are, don't appreciate the way they used to. Uh, did, 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 did you hear that stuff on social media? And no, because the same fans that, that they want to rip you up is the same ones fans that are going to talk, talk great about you and want your autographs. So I'm not worried about that. At the end of the day, I've been doing what I've been doing since I've been here. So if you didn't like me then, you probably won't like me now because ain't much change. So. They know, they, this is, they know this team knows what I bring to the table, so if you don't like me, it's cool. I still love you, though. Just keep watching the games and buy the tickets. What was the focus tonight defensively against AD? Uh, we try to make it tough for him. You know, AD is a, you know, all-NBA player, uh, you know, very talented. He could face up and, and shoot it or, or take it on the block. You know, a lot of, a lot of like, KG. So, you know, we just try to make it difficult and just keep the body on him and try to wear him down. Um, you know, the way I try to do it is just, you know, keep going to the offensive glass or putting him in pick and rolls, try to wear him down and it's on the guards to come downhill and, and force him to make a decision. You guys are undefeated when taking a lead in the fourth quarter this year. Why do you think that is? None of them stats, I don't even know. I, I don't even, I don't even, I mean, none of the stats, like, you know, first player to score. 17 points in the first 25 minutes and 30 seconds. I, I just, I mean, I don't understand the limb stats. Is, uh, well, to address it, um, if we can get a cushion going into the fourth quarter, it's definitely good. But, you know, we've been down before and come back in one game going into the fourth. So it's just, uh, I'd rather be up going to the fourth, though, because that means the second unit, like myself, Jeff Green, and uh, JC and JR are doing good stuff. You might not be a fan of stats, but what about 867 for LeBron? That's a, uh, over 10 points. I knew he could do that. <laughs> I know he could do that. He gonna keep going. I mean, shit, what's his year 15? He's won 10 points. He can do that until he's done playing. Even when he's like year 20, he could just post up and drop 10 points. So, I mean, that number's just gonna keep climbing. It's gonna keep climbing. It's the way he plays. Takes care of himself. Takes care of his body. You know, how great a shot has got. So, even as Kerr gets older, he moves to the four. And bangs with the big boys, he'll still be fine. He'll still be faster than most of them. Just shoot it better than most of them. So that number's gonna keep going. He could do it until so he's tired of it. It's gonna be on him. I have to say that you didn't early in your career, but in terms of the taking care of your body thing, have you picked up on anything like that now that you're alongside LeBron over the last couple of years? Mm -hmm. I mean, LeBron told me, um, I think it was my first year, I sprained my ankle and I missed the. Um, I missed three games. I think I came back for one game, stepped on Chris Wilcox's ankle. I missed another three games. And I remember when we played Miami, uh, we were playing Miami, and he told me, you know, you know, 
Cause I've known him for a while. He said, you know, if you stay in the weight room, take care of your body, you know, that armor, you're going to need that. That, that keeps you from getting hurt. So I've always took that, you know, serious, took that as, you know, that's a, it's, you know, when the best player in the world gives you that kind of advice that, you know, the weight room helps you, keeps you strong and prevents you from getting injured. Uh, you know, you take it and you run because it's fun. So that's what I've been doing ever since he told me that my first year. He might not remember, but I remember like it was yesterday. He had no shirt on, the weight room with a do-rag on. <laughs> well, Mike Mancius. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Justin. Thanks.